Hello guys, guess what? We're going to be looking at everything about the bones of the upper limb. Oh yes. So what is it about the bones of the upper limb that we must pay attention to very quickly? Now, pay attention as we move together. This is our lesson 2. We have looked at the parts of the upper limb lesson 1. This is lesson 2, the bones of the upper limb. So in the bones of the upper limb, what are the various bones that we have there? What and what do we have? Yeah, let's go. Number 1 is called the scapula. Another name for scapula is the shoulder blade. I will show you all of them one by one, but learn them with me first. Scapula or the what? The shoulder blade. Let me ask you, is it, where is it? Of course, it is the one that is at the back, right? That's the scapula or the what? The shoulder blade. Number two is called the clavicle or the collarbone. So this is the clavicle or the collarbone, also called the beauty bone, right? Yes. Number three is called the humerus. Of course, bone of the arm is the humerus. How many humerus? One year, one year. That's all. Uh -huh. And then number four is called the honor and the radius. Honor and radius. One is medial. One is lateral. Which one is medial? Honor is what? Media. Close to the midline. Right? Away from the midline is what? Radius. That one is what? Lateral. And the two of them, they form the bones of the forearm. And then number five, we have what is called the carpal bones. What is it called? Carpal bones or bones of the wrist. Bones of the wrist. Also got your what? Your carpal bones. How many carpal bones do we have? Eight carpal bones altogether. And then number six is called the metacarpal bones. What is it called? Metacarpal bones. Metacarpal bones are the bones of the hand. How many metacarpal bones do we have altogether? There are five of them there. And then number seven are called the phalanges. What are they called? Phalanges. Which are the bones of the digits or bones of the what? Fingers. Whether you call them bones of the digits or bones of the fingers, they are the same thing. Does it make sense? Want to go? Give me the bones of the upper limb. What are the bones of the upper limb? Number one is your scapula. Your scapula, which is posterior, right? And then it's also called the shoulder blade. Number two is called the what? The clavicle or the collar bone or the beauty bone. Number three is called the numerous or the bone of the arm. And then we have what is called the honor and the radius, right? Bone of the what? Four arm. And then we now have what is called the carpal bones, which are the bones of the what? Wrist. How many carpal bones do we have? Eight altogether. Then we have what is called the metacarpal bones. Metacarpal bones are bones of the what? Hand. And then we have the phalanges, right? Which are the bones of the digits or bones of the what? Fingers. All of these, they form the bones of the upper limb. Ah, Sir Peter, show it to me. Hold on a bit. The complete series of classes in anatomy, all of them, physiology, all the physiology, biochemistry, all, they are available in the LearnLift app. So just head down to Play Store or App Store and type LearnLift, right? And then download the app and you have access to all your classes and the continuation of this lesson you are watching right now. For the now, peace out. Now look at this very quickly. From this diagram here, what can we see quickly? Number one here is your scapula. Scapula. Oh, yes. And it is posterior. Scapula is also got your what? Your shoulder blade. How many scapula? One, one. That's all we have. Your clavicle is number two. Your clavicle or collar bone or beauty bone. And this is the clavicle or the collar bone or the beauty bone. The next, of course, the two of them together, they will come and form the what? The shoulder, right? Yes, they form the bone that you have in the shoulder. Then you have what is called your humerus. Humerus is the bone of the arm. And the arm, what can you also call arm? Arm is also called your, what's your brachium. Of course, how many bones do you have in the brachium? Just one, that's the humerus. And then we have what is called your ulna. Ulna is medial. Radius is lateral. Together, they form the bones of the forearm, right? And forearm is also called your, what's your antibrachium. Whether antibrachium or forearm is the same thing. And then you now come to the last compartment, which is the hand. In the hand, what do we have there? Number one, you have what is called the carpus. The carpus is also called the wrist. Oh, yes. So, bones of the wrist. How many bones there? Eight altogether. Then you come to the what? The metacarpals, which are the metacarpal bones. How many are they? Five. That's the bone of the hand. And then the last part are the phalanges. How many phalangeal bones do we have together? Fourteen phalangeal bones. If you get this very quickly, again, very, very fast identify the following bones oh yes the question say only you identify the following bones fail any one of them i will never be happy with you identify them for me x y z of course let's start with your x this x there 
Is it and uh, when do you see it? Of course, at the back, right? Powerful. What's the name? Get out, you are correct. Why is it called? Of course, it is called the scapula or the what the shoulder blade. Either you call it scapula or the what the shoulder blade. That's X. You are correct. What about Y? Identify Y for me. What's the name for Y? Why is this bone that you see here? That's the what? The clavicle or the collar bone. See for clavicle. See for collar bone. You can also call it your beauty bone. Your scapula or the shoulder blade, the clavicle or the collar bone or the beauty bone. What about Z? Z is this bone of the arm. The bone of the arm, what is it? The humerus is the answer. So either you call it humerus or bone of the arm. Of course, it's the same thing. You are very, very correct. You get that very fast with me. Now, identify this for me as well. A, B, C. Give me their names very quickly. One, two, go. I see the hot. Write them down before I call them. Why is your A cut very quickly? Of course, A there. They are the bones that form the wrist. Therefore, what do we call it? It is called the kappa bones, correct? It is either you call it kappa bones or bones of the wrist. You are very, very correct. What about your B? Your B are the bones that form the phalanges. These are the phalangeal bones, correct? The phalanges or bones of the what? The digits or bones of the fingers. Any of them, you are very correct. What about your C? Baby girl, you. It's you that I'm saying. Yes, answer it for me, baby girl. What's your C code? They are called the metacarpals, right? How many metacarpals do we have all together? Metacarpals are five. Metacarpal bones are five all together. So whether you call it metacarpals or bones of the hand, you are correct. Now, how many bones do we have in the carpal? Carpal bones are eight. Metacarpals, five. Phalanges are how many? 14 altogether. Very simple, easy, and direct. If you get that very quickly with me, oh, identify the following bones for me. One and two. What's the name? Wait, 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 wait. Bros. It's you I'm saying. Bros, not you. What is one? You are wrong. Yes, you are wrong. I'm hearing honor. One is honor. Two is radius. I want you. The one that is longer. Check it out. Which one is longer? Two is longer than one, right? If two is longer than one, what is your one called? Of course, one is the radius. And you can see that the radius is lateral. The one that is medial and close to the midline of the body, where is it? Honor is the correct answer. So we have the honor as well as the what? Radius. Will you feel it again? Uh -huh. Yeah, let's go together. You get that very quickly with me. Now, don't forget that I told you that the bones that you have in the upper limb, I gave all of them. Number one is the scapula or the shoulder blade, right? Number two is the clavicle or the collar bone. Then we have the humerus or bone of the arm. But first and foremost, tell me how many bones do we have in each of them? If you look at the scapula or the shoulder blade, how many bones? One bone, scapula or shoulder blade is one. One year, one year. If you come down to clavicle, clavicle or the collar bone, how many? One, one bone is also what you have there. What about the humerus? Bone of the arm. How many is it? One as well. If you come down to the honor and radius, which are the bones of the what? Four arm. How many do we have there? That's two. One for honor, one for radius. Which one is medial? Honor is what? Medial. Radius is what? Lateral. What about the kappa bones or the bones of the wrist? Kappa bones altogether. Eight is all you have. What about the metacarpal bones or bones of the hand? Metacarpal bones, five. What about the phalanges? Fourteen altogether. Now, the quick, question, the quick question is, sir, how many bones do we have in the upper limb? If you are viewing one side alone, just one, the number of bones you have there, very fast, don't forget. Total number of bones for the upper limb for one side is 32. How many? 32. Add all of them together. One plus your one plus your one, that's three plus two is five plus 3, 13. 13 plus 5 is how many? 18. 18 plus 14 is how many? 32 bones. That's all you have there. So in the two upper limb, 1, 1, how many bones all together? 32 plus 32. That's how many? 64 bones all together. Just this and this alone. How many do we have there? 64 bones. That's, that's it. Does it make sense? If you get this very quickly with me. Ah, very, very interesting. Let's go. Very quickly, when it comes to creating accounts, how do you create an account? Very easy. Let me give you the steps. First and foremost, you say create account and login. You only log in, right, when you already have an account. Since you don't have an account, click, click on create account. When you get there, put in your phone number. Put in your phone number. After putting in your phone number, you click on continue, right? Your first name, 
of course, you put in your first name there. If your first name is James, you put in James as your first name. Your last name, if your last name is Victor, you put in what? Victor as your last name. Then you come to email address, right? Put in your email address there very quickly. James112 at gmail.com at gmail.com Then your password, right? Oh yes. Those of you that like, if you want to use your name, your password can just be like six digits, right? Oh yes. So let me say James 12th. James 12th as the password, right? Fill everything accurately and correctly. James 12th. Don't jump any stage. If not, your account is not going to open for you. Select education. Under select education, of course, university. You click university. Leave secondary, primary, leave the others. Click university or tertiary. Click it. Come to select level. Under select level, you go and select your level. If it's 100 level, 200 level, of course, all these are the university classes. Click on 200 level and click on create account. Once you click on create account, what will happen? Your class will load straight and then your profile will be set up and then it will take you towards to class. Easy and direct. So you see it. This is how you create your account. And then from here, you can see that you have your anatomies here, your upper limb, your lower limb, separately embryology, histology, systemic anatomy. Those ones are for nursing. Your CVS, cardiovascular system, your blood physiology, excitable tissues, systemic physiology, intro to biochemistry, your bowel molecules, BCM for nursing, nursing psychology. You have access to every single thing in the app. Now, let me see what is in the app. Let's say, for example, upper limb. You click on the upper limb, right? You can see that you have your classes there already waiting for you. Overview of the upper limb, pectoral region, arm region, forearm, hand, all of them, part by part. When I click on the overview of the upper limb, of course, I'll just match it straight to my class. Parts of the upper limb, one part of the upper limb, two bone of, bones of the upper limb, joints of the upper limb, muscles. You see, all your classes are there for you right okay let me say i want to start now and then i want to watch joints of the upper limb all you just need to do is click on that particular class that you want to watch joints of the upper limb and what will happen your class will load and your classes will start playing for you immediately so you see you may choose to say okay i want to rotate it right oh yes rotate it and you start following your classes immediately easy and direct you may choose to say okay you want to forward you want to pause you want to back and um, back forward anyone you want to do and you take it forward and what happened you can see all of them very very easy and the sweet part is that there are questions for you at the end of every class are you with me so that's for that and you may choose to go back and then go to the note section of the app oh yes when you get to the note section of the app of course the notes are there mm -hmm. well organized and arranged for you and you can zoom in and then start following back to back and you are following you may even choose to go and start answering questions questions are there for you and there are answers you start um following through every singular facet of it and you are learning on your own and there is cpt in the app as well for you a lot of other aspects that you can follow up all of this in the learn lift app same way you have for anatomy that's how you have for physiology that's how you have for biochemistry are you getting it now for the now bye bye please answer this question for me the question four all the way say how many bones are there in total in both upper limbs ah we have answered it already portion is it 32 bones in both upper limb both not just one the two of them are they 32 bones? No, one is 32. Option B says 64. Yes, 64 bones. Option C says 48 bones. No. Option D says 16. What is the answer? 64 bones is what you have there altogether. And you know you can call all of them, right? Once you go call them for me. Your scapula or your shoulder blade, how many? One, right? Your clavicle or your collarbone, one. Humerus, how many? One. Honor, radius, honor, one. Radius, one. That's two there. If you come down to the, um, your carpal bones, how many are they? Eight. Metacarpals, five. Phalages, how many? Fourteen. All together, 32 for one side, 32 for the other side. If you total them to give you what? 64. Option B. If you understand this very quickly and you are sure you get this very fast, please and uh, please, this is a Q and A question. I'll tell you the question. You go to the Q and A segment of the app, right? Or comment section. Drop the answer for me, quick, quick.
in the Q&A question, the question says, how many bows are there in one hand? And not the entire upper limb. Hand alone. How many bows do we have in the hand? Option A says, we have 28 bows. B says, we have 27 bows. C says, we have 12 bows. D says, we have 14 bows. In the hand. If you fail it there, you will hear wine from me. How many bones are in the hand? I'm not giving you a clue. The hand is made up of three major compartments, right? What are the three compartments? The carpus, the metacarpus, and the what? Then you have the phalanges in addition to it. Take down all of them for me and tell me the number of bones that you have in one hand. Check the answer and see what it will be. Go to my notes. If you don't know it, go to my notes. I'll see you in lesson three. But before lesson three, go to my notes. The answer is there in the notes for you. Go to the notes, please. There are past questions in the notes. Go and answer all of them. Practice CBT. Keep practicing. Practice make perfect. Are you with me? And don't forget to always tell your friend, invite somebody, and tell somebody about the dead lift app. I'll see you in lesson three shortly. And in lesson three, we're going to be looking at the joints of the upper limb. But before you go, Drop the answer for me in the Q&A session or in the comment section. Drop the answer. How many bows do you have in what one hand? Let me see if you are correct. I'll see you in the next class. Joints of the upper limb. For the now, peace out. Hope you've enjoyed this class. Guess what? To follow up for more classes, just download the Learn Lift app, whether on Play Store or App Store, and then follow up your classes. You must do extremely well. I'll see you in class. Bye-bye.